Hi there. Uh, my name is Clay Johnson. I'm the director of Sunlight Labs at the Sunlight Foundation. We are a nonpartisan, nonprofit 501c3 that focuses on using technology to make government more transparent and accountable to citizens. So it's really great to be here since this seems to me like a generally friendly audience. Uh, last year, we did these contests called Apps for America. The first one we did was based on top of our data. Our data is a weird term, but our data, what we call our data is data about members of Congress and lobbyists and campaign contributions and that kind of thing. Then we got wind that this new website was coming out called data.gov, and we said, well, wouldn't it be great to do a contest about that? And we did a contest about that called Apps for America 2. Um, we're pretty good at naming things. Um, and at the end of the year, we ended up with this list of about 1,500 developers that were all interested in building data, uh, building web services on top of government data. And we thought that was pretty cool, but we said, you know, there's something else that we need here. We really need the designers to start playing ball with us too because it's really them that can sort of start taking this data and encapsulating it and making it so that people can really understand it. So earlier this year, we launched Design for America, um, and it, it was a design contest. It's an art contest to try and get the art out of our community uh, as well as just the, the sort of neat technology. Today, I want to share with you some of the winners. Uh, and we'll also have on display out here the winners. Uh, my slides don't really do them justice. I can't tell you how excited I am about these guys uh, because my slides are sort of, sort of static um, and they, they're non-interactive and a lot of this stuff is really interactive, but man, this stuff is cool. We had eight different categories, so there's eight different winners and each winner will win $5,000. Um, the first uh, contest was the best redesign of a government website. What we said is use your imagination and just take any .gov website and make something incredible. And wouldn't you know, the people who won made the website that probably most Americans have the most experience with, uh, which is the IRS. Uh, the IRS website, they took and redid this site. This is the winning entry. Um, and we, this was chosen by our judges, I think, not because it was just the prettiest, because it, it definitely is the prettiest, but it also captured the imagination. Most of the, the, what this website does, according to their mock-ups, is impossible. Um, it takes data from state governments and the federal government, sort of combines it together and gives you your overall tax bill, uh, which to some people could be very exciting. Um, and it tells you how your money's being spent and what the kinds of trends are based on that tax bill. So I think that's really interesting and hopefully it opens the imagination of the people inside of the IRS and inside of government to, to you know, maybe improve their design. Um, the next one was the best use of sunlight data. This one's pretty cool too. This actually ended up in, a, as a tie. Uh, I'll show you one of them. Uh, it's uh, called Cool Kids at the White House. Um, and I know this doesn't look exciting um, and sort of uh, 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 jibber-jabbery, but it's um, actually an animation made in Adobe Flash um, that starts out with the POTUS, and then these people sort of spill on top of POTUS, and you can click on every name and see every meeting that that person has had and, and, and who they've had that meeting with. It's really cool stuff. The other end of that, uh, the other winner of that one of best use of sunlight data was uh, a website called uh, Who Pays Them, uh, which is uh, an app that uses our campaign contribution data at transparencydata.com and allows people to create um, interesting graphs uh, about the way that money uh, is flowing into Congress. Um, it's a Java app, and I really couldn't do it uh, uh, justice. Um, uh, uh, demoing it here. Uh, the best visualization of the Senate floor procedures, I was really excited about this, I have to admit. My boss, Ellen Miller, was like, Clay, give me a break. Um, she, was, uh, she was right that no one would want to enter this contest, but she was wrong that we'd get something useful. Um, this is uh, one shot of the uh, basically 10-page illustrated manual of the best use of the Senate uh, floor procedures, or best demonstration of the Senate floor procedures, so people can actually understand those arcane rules that um, our senators uh, use in order to manipulate the political process. It's really beautiful. Um, the next one is my probably my personal favorite. 
Uh, we are this year, I believe, in the 35th anniversary of probably the most important political video ever made. Everyone knows that political video. It was made by an organization called Schoolhouse Rock, and it was called Just a Bill. Um, now, that, that, that video, while interesting, is a little outdated, um, and, and unfortunately, we did not get a new uh, uh, realization, but we, what we did get was this, which is really beautiful. Um, it is a new visualization of how our laws are made. And if you look at it, you know, it has uh, the little guy over on the left. That's a lobbyist. So it shows you, like, when the lobbyist shows up in the process and, like, when it can go back to committee and how it can get passed around and stuff like that. These are the kinds of things that can, you know, this is a, this is a piece of art that can, you know, help change high school civics classrooms that was generated from, you know, the, the, the up, you know, generated from our community. It's just really awesome stuff. Um, this is a best redesign of a government form. Uh, the person checked uh, the passport application and said, well, I'm going to make a web version of a, a password, uh, the passport form. Uh, again, fairly interesting stuff. Um, this one's great. Uh, I think I think I'll get a good laugh out of this one. Uh, the winner of we partnered with Health and Human Services to uh, get people using uh, the community health indicator data, um, and this was really cool. Uh, somebody decided that instead of measuring how healthy or ill a particular county was, they could better measure how sinful it was. So. This is county sin rankings. You can plug in the name of a county or zip code and see how sinful your county is based on your high school dropout rate, your income inequality. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Your unemployment rate, your violent crime rate, your chlamydia rate, adult obesity, and whether or not your county is in poor or fair health. This is really, I mean, it's sort of an interesting take. It's an interesting way to uh, look at uh, how your county works um, based on how sinful it is. Um, best visualization of recovery.gov data. Uh, this uh, takes new lenses of how the rec recovery.gov data is displayed so people can see which congressional districts are getting the money, who is getting the money, where it's coming from, in different ways than I think recovery.gov is uh, able to display. Uh, finally, uh, we have another tie uh, best visualization of USA spending.gov data. Um, this is the uh, one of the winners, uh, which is uh, uh, a visualization of the United States federal spending based on USA spending.gov. Uh, and then it compared to uh, media coverage of that agency, uh, which I think is just really beautiful. The other one that won, I don't have a slide of because it's a, it's a video, is called Is. Washington bankrupting an America, and it's a video of, I think, some really beautiful and interesting uh, uh, graphs that, that illustrate a, a particular point of view that I think is really interesting. Um, so those are our winners, I believe, if I got my deck right. And I want to spend a second thanking our really awesome sponsors, especially um, Adobe. Last year, I wrote an article uh, called Adobe is Bad for Open Government, uh, and put that on the internet. And uh, I, I took a really adversarial and antagonist, uh, antagonistic view of Adobe, and they really decided, instead of being adversarial with me, uh, they, would, they would work with us, and I think they've done a great job of that. So I'd like to thank them publicly for sponsoring uh, this contest. Uh, and I also want to thank our other sponsors, Google, Palantir, uh, TechWeb and O'Reilly uh, for really being supportive uh, and being long-term long supporters of what it is that we have been trying to do, which is give people greater access to truth about what happens in Washington. Uh, it's an honor to um, have uh, helped um, create all of these different pieces of artwork, but really it's about the artists. Um, they have done an amazing thing here, and so uh, I'm just so excited about the results of Design for America. I hope you are too. Thank you very much.